Oh, howdy all, grab yourselves a beer, it is time for some Path of Exile, and today I want to do one of the rarer Delve nodes. Uh, this is one of the Rune Caverns which contains a Harbinger. Uh, so these, this isn't particularly deep, we're just into monster level 83, and the Abyssal Depths that this is going to be occurring in has no particularly scary no mods at all. Uh, just 50% chance for monsters to avoid elemental ailments, which is fine because I'm not dealing any. The frost biome that I'm coming out of is fairly nasty, but uh, at least for an early delve zone, uh, but that's fine because we're leaving it. So the actual Harbinger encounter does not have Beyond on it. Beyond is on the uh, is on the frost biome, and it is quite uh, Beyond is much more terrifying in the delve zones than it is in maps. In any case, uh, let's just do the run in. Try and avoid any embarrassing uh, sulfite wasting deaths on the way in there, but like I say, it's a pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward zone. Now this zone uh, would have, it has exactly one f fractured wall in it, and I've already been there because it was required to actually get in here was, uh, this, this Harbinger node is behind a fractured wall, so I have already broken it. So for that reason, I don't really need to uh, search around much here. There's a potential to find a couple of little things, but nothing particularly outrageously valuable in the um, in the current biome. So here we go. We're just pushing through, cycling through everything, kill stuff, and now here we are with the Harbinger encounter. And these are a bit bigger than the Harbinger encounters you'll find in maps. Uh, they go on for a bit longer, and you've got the same portal that is only normally found in the beachhead map. Uh, because it's in the delve mines, there's a small amount of extra damage that everything does uh, at level, like at current depth, which is only uh, 263. That's a pretty small scaling factor. Uh, the higher that the zone gets, the more that that scaling factor becomes higher and higher and higher and more dangerous and more dangerous. Still haven't finished it. But as I say, there's a lot of monsters in these zones. These can actually be really quite lucrative for XP too. I came in here pretty much fresh off um, off a death. I've just hit level 93, and then I uh, stupidly died on my last delve. I had done a little bit before, a little bit of uh, of delving after the death, but not much. So we're coming here pretty close to 93.0. You can see I'm at 93.07 now, or 06. The rewards for this won't be amazing, but they will be. They will be something. I believe they're a bit more lucrative than a normal Harbinger encounter. The absolute nuts combination, though, is if you get a Harbinger encounter like this on a zone that has Beyond as a map affix. In that case, uh, you'll just be absolutely spawning Beyond bosses everywhere. It will be insane. It will be really dangerous. And you would not want to attempt that on Hardcore, even if you quite outlevel the zone. Uh, however, it'll be really funny. You'll get an absolutely crazy loot explosion at the end of it. I'll have to handle that trade straight after this. Okay, so that's the end of it. And that's basically all there is to it. You'll see there there's uh, Ancient Annulment Shards. There's also a bunch of the Lesser Shards, and um, I'm just picking all of them up just for, for something to do here. Uh, and then we'll get a sense of what we've actually looted. Engineer Shards are... A, a little bit uh, important in the current league. I'm filming this right at the tail end of Legion League and uh, Engineer's Orbs, there's a challenge to use four of them on one chest, uh, on one strong box. so there's actually a fair bit of demand for those stupid things even though they're normally complete and utter rubbish. And they really shouldn't have gone into the core game but they did so we're stuck with them for this challenge. In any case, um, I'm don't know why I'm picking up transmutation shards though, they're just... they are genuinely not worth the effort at all. Okay, so just on that basis, let's have a look at what we got there. Um, one Engineer's Orb, full. 
Binding Orb, Horizon Orb, the the four um, Harbinger shards and four annulment shards. Sorry, four yeah, four annulment shards and four ancient shards. Sorry, uh, definitely a worthwhile zone, uh, but not anything to really write home about. Anyways, that's all I got for this one. Have a good one.